Here you see the setup in the hood for a synthesis of acrylic polymers or shape memory polymers. You start with a clean Erlenmeyer flask and tear that on the scale. Because the scales in the hood you need to close the doors to, in order to make a measurement or tear. Now we put in the chemicals for the polymer synthesis, methyl methacrylate. The stock bottle is poured out into the beaker in front. Next we have polyethylene glycol dimethyl acrylate. And finally the photo initiator DMPA. Okay, I have 9 grams of MMA. Uh, notice the sash is down over my face. I move it up for the video, but when you're working in the hood, you want to be sure you're looking through the sash. Now I need 3 grams of the peg. write down in your notebook what actual uh, mass you weigh out. Now finally on the photo initiator DMPA we need 0.2 grams which we're going to weigh out in the weigh boat as it's a solid and put into our solution. Okay, I have the photo initiator weighed out. Now I'm going to put it in the Erlenmeyer flask. You'll see a stir plate back behind the chemicals where you'll put a stir rod in the flask and mix on the stir plate. Now while that is mixing, we'll make our mold for the polymer. Here is an example of the mold we're going to make. Two sheets of glass with the Teflon separator and then clipped together with these binder clips. Before you make the mold, you want to coat your glass with the mold release, and we just use Rain-X. So you just spray the Rain-X on the glass and dry it in, dry it off and it coats it and do both sides so you don't have to remember which side 
You did? This is for solid waste. Okay, now we're going to put a piece of Teflon here between the two pieces of glass. Makes a spacer and then we use the clamps to clamp around the perimeter. So here's our mold. I'm going to make sure it fits in the UV lamp before putting polymer in. Here is the UV lamp and we will put these in this way. I put the piece of Teflon underneath in case it spills and pushes as far back as it goes. So it fits, so I'm going to put the polymer in. In the time it takes to make your mold, the solution should be mixed. And you'll just get a transfer pipette, fill it with the monomers, and then you put it over this slit in the glass and it will fill in to the glass. Mostly because of capillary action. So I have this filled with polymer. Now I'm going to put it in the UV lamp, like so. We have special UV goggles you can wear, uh, but we also turn the lamps around so that the UV light is facing away from your gaze. To turn this on, you have an on-off button here. So you turn it on, but then you also have to hit this trigger button to turn the lamp on. Then you want to time it for 20 minutes. That's how long it takes to cure the polymer, so we'll check back in 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes to stop the UV lamp, you actually have to turn it off at the off button here. And that will turn off the lamp. And we can turn this around then and check our polymer film. I can go ahead and take the clips off. If the glass is stuck together, you can take the end of your spatula and kind of twist it and that'll make it come apart. Then we can peel the uh, film off along with the spacer. If you take your polymer out and it's not quite solid enough, still a little sticky or tacky, you can actually just put it on the glass and put it back in here for about five minutes and irradiate some more. But if it is done, as this one is, uh, you take it to the sink and wash it with soap and water. Okay, so I've washed this with soap and water and now I'm ready to cut dog bones and see the, what the tinsel strength is. For cleanup, we take any leftover 
uh, monomers we have and we put it into the liquid waste here on our leftover monomers here we have a magnet for removing the stir bar I'm also going to rinse my stir rod with acetone and put it here for my next run and and now we're going to pour this in the liquid waste you can rinse out the Erlenmeyer with some acetone any solid waste you have goes in the little white tub so then this rinsed Erlenmeyer along with the mold parts you put on the cart in the middle of the room uh, for further washing by the teaching assistant.